Hi, my name is Kelvin. I'm from Germany and in this video tutorial today I like to show you um, the benefits of a new script in Photoshop CS5. You can get this script for free. But before I like to show you the benefits of the script and where you can get the script, I like to show you what is the script. Well, I have a picture here and I like to do the final settings right now, the final changes. I like to create a look or whatever. And for that, I merge all my layers together by pressing Shift Alt Command E. And now I have a new layer. And now I can do all my changes in Photoshop. But I like to do everything in Adobe Camera Raw. I don't like to do a raw conversion. I just like to do the changes, my final changes in Adobe Camera Raw. But why? Well, let's open the file first in Adobe Camera Raw. I go into my file and then I go into scripts and here is the new script, Dr. Brown's edit layer in Adobe Camera Raw. And with that script, you can open any layer in Adobe Camera Raw. And now I like to show you the benefits of this technique. The first thing is you have here different kind of sliders, what you do not have in Photoshop, like the fill light or the um, clarity slider. You have similar sliders in Photoshop, like um, shadow and highlights. But, well, I like the slider fill light and I like clarity, but that's not, not all. You have more sliders, you have more options. Take a look here. Okay, a curve. You, you can find a lot of curves in Photoshop. Um, you have a very nice noise reduction and you have, whoa, a lot of options to change the color. And you do not have to create um, an adjustment layer and another adjustment layer and another one. You can find everything here. So you can change the orange tones. By the way, you will not find an orange tone slider in Photoshop. And you can change the orange orange slider here and then you can change the hue, the saturation and the luminosity of the orange tones in only one dialog here. And you can do split toning, you can do lens correction and you can add maybe a vignette. If you like to add a vignette in Photoshop, you have to create before a selection, you have to soften the selection and then you have to apply adjustment layer. And right here, I can move with this slider and I don't lose much time. There are much more options, but let me now create a very nice look for that picture. And for that, I like to play with the clarity slider. The clarity slider brings you much more details and it looks great, but mm, I'm not sure if I like to add here more details for this young lady. So I like to do the opposite with the clarity slider. I like to bring that slider to the left. And look what happened. Your picture will get a very soft touch. I don't like the red skin tone. Let me desaturate the skin tone just a little bit. And normally I do that in Photoshop with the red tones. But right here in Adobe Camera Raw, I have the orange tones. And if I change the saturation of the orange tones, you can see the skin, um, I desaturate the skin a little bit. And if I change the brightness of the orange tones, I can make the skin a little bit whiter. And of course, I can do desaturate the whole image just a little bit. And for skin tones, you will find another great, great slider in Adobe Camera Raw, what you can find in Photoshop, and that's here in the camera calibration. You can change the red tone here a little bit for a more natural skin tone. That's uh, a very nice slider if you have a face with a lot of magenta in the skin tone. Okay, and you can see within a few clicks, I will have a different picture. And the good thing is I can open that in Photoshop, take a look at the before and after, and I have to. Th and if I think, oh, uh, I have to change something again, then I have to double click on this icon here, and I then I can go back and forth between RAW and Photoshop 
to do my changes. And I think I am much faster here in the camera raw dialog here uh, than in Photoshop with a lot of, lot of adjustment layers. So it's a great thing, but um, it's not a raw file. It's still a JPEG or in this case, a TIFF file and you can do some changes and you can do a lot of changes. Um, you can, uh, let me merge that layer together and by pressing shift alt command E and let me open this file uh, in, uh, in Adobe Camera Raw. And of course you can change the color very nice. So if I take a look at this picture and I do not like the blue um, of the clothes here, I like to change the blue tones a little bit. And by the way, here uh, in this picture, the Clary slider is perfect for getting more details and make it uh, look more uh, strong and rough and angry and whatever. <laughs> so let me change the blue tones a little bit. Let me, by the way, desaturate the blue tones or saturate it more. And then I can change the hue only of the blue tones to change the color. Very nice. And of course, the brightness, darker, brighter and whatever. So let me click OK. And if I do not like the color, I can go back by double click on that icon. Very, very nice. And you can do much, much more. Let me show you this picture. This is an HDR and this was my original file. And take a look, only with raw conversion. Oh, it's not really a raw conversion. It's with the new script. And take a look, before, after, it's an absolutely different picture with a lot of more pop. It's very interesting right now. And let me double click on that icon that you can see I haven't touched an adjustment layer or a special plugin in Photoshop. I only used the raw conversion, the Adobe Camera Raw in Photoshop CS5. And let me show you the before after by clicking that preview here on and off. That was the original file and that was the after file. Very, very nice. And the good thing is now you do not have to create an action if you like to have this same look on another picture, what you can do, you can save that as a preset. Take a look, here's a preset of my Kelby training and now I can create a new setting. I can save this settings and I can save all these settings and let me call that um, 350 look, not the 300 look and I save that and now I have my 350 look. So if I go to my Kelby training preset, that was for another picture. And if I go back here to 350, the look, I have my um, very, very nice uh, look of this New York City shot. So you can see it's very, very easy to work with that script. And the good thing is it's absolutely free. What you have to do is you have to go to the website russellbrown.com and then you have to go to scripts and right here you can find added layers in Adobe Camera Raw. And make sure you click on the tutorial for the introduction how to install this script. You have to make sure a few adjustments in the presets. If you go to preferences here, and file handling, you have to make sure that you change the camera raw preferences here and the TIFF to the last one here automatically open all supported TIFFs. That's what you have to do. And then you can play around with the script. It's a very, very nice tool at the end of the image, at the end of the workflow. I use that a lot to give my pictures a final look and in a very, very, very fast way. Okay. That's it for today. I hope you like this and uh, let me know what you think.